I'm Chris Elliott and here are the headlines from the Cambridge News for Wednesday, June the 10th. Two men have been arrested after a police van was hijacked by an armed raider. Officers were forced out of their vehicle by the gun-wielding attacker who drove off before dumping the van and stealing a car from a passing motorist. A police manhunt across two counties ended when Robert Inman, 36, and another man were apprehended in Haverhill. A reveller locked a driver out of his bus before crashing it into bollards. The incident, which took place at Cambridge bus station after Strawberry Fair, was captured on a mobile phone and posted on the website YouTube. Andy Campbell, managing director of Stagecoach, branded the youth's actions as sheer stupidity. A cannabis factory was discovered today after a police drugs raid. Officers stormed a property in Mayfield Road, Girton, where a number of plants were found and one man was arrested. The under-fire Oakington Immigration Centre will close within two years, the government has said. The announcement was made during a parliamentary debate on the centre in which the treatment of detainees was branded as inhumane. Two mums whose children's lives were saved by an emergency medical charity have teamed up to launch an appeal to raise cash. Jude Burland and Jane Hawes both know from personal experience how vital it is to have MAGPAS teams on hand to attend scenes of incidents. And finally, in today's Cambridge News, don't miss our jobs section featuring 150 of the latest vacancies across the region. For the latest updates, stay with Cambridge News online.